Hi everybody, Joe Heilman here with Intelligent Egg. I'm here with Lance Larson of the Eggtegra Innovation Center. And we're talking a little bit about engaged spread control today. So I guess <clears throat> rewind maybe two years ago. Yep. Uh, we came knocking on your door and kind of said, hey, we've got some ideas. We've heard that there are requests or needs for more accuracy with these large boom spreaders because today they have section control, but we're talking only half of the machine. Yep. So on a 70 foot boom, we can only cut that thing into 35 foot swaths basically. And we said, is there another way we can take this further? We had some ideas. You guys had some, uh, some drive to make this happen. What drove Agtegra to take such an interest in that at a very early stage? The thought of the product and the concept of the product was, in my mind, uh, the next thing that we needed to do to, to do better for our growers. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, you know, it's a, it's a co-op. The members sign our paychecks and own this company. And anytime we can do better, we're helping their operations out as well. Mm -hmm. And I think that was part of the reason that the that Egg Tiger got behind it so quick. You know, it was a it was a good concept, and just that we're going to do a better job spreading fertilizer for our member owners. Let's talk a little bit about <clears throat> results. Sure. So you know, for the most part, while well, we had we had a dozen machines with it on it, uh, bulk of the makers came off the ten machines out of the dozen roughly 90,000 acres that we went over with them. About 800 tons of fertilizer that didn't get applied in areas that it didn't need to be. So in essence, we saved that many pounds mm -hmm. and we accurately spread the rest of it where it needed to be. 800 plus tons yep. of material right. is represented in the use of this system. Right. 800 tons of material, I mean, that's a lot of product. At the end of the day, it's the co-op, and, and the member owners is what we're trying to do the best we can for. Mm -hmm. And this is just the next step of, of doing a better job for our growers. Mm -hmm. Well, let's go look at a few machines and see what the system is all about and how it works a little bit. And Lance can walk us through his experience and his operator's experience with the machines and kind of some of the high points. So we're in the shop here with Philip Bakey. He's actually one of the operators that's been using spread control and recon spread sense. Philip, why don't you tell us a little bit about the experience with spread control, what benefits do you see as an operator, but also um, for the growers? Um, I guess one of the benefits I see is uh, the less overlap you have with the correct amount of product, you can get it in the right place. For me to have the AccuBoom control was was very nice. It, uh, it worked really well, um, and it was, it was very simple to run. Okay, we can get a look at some of the components on spread control. Lance, why don't you talk about Yep. what somebody needs to be ready for with engaged spread control. Okay. To get better control on the chains, we change the control valves on the back. Next is gonna be our funnel boxes, which that's where the magic happens. We're still quite a ways ahead where the OEM system was. Mm -hmm. Not causing any harm to the machine, but yet we're achieving that rate as soon as we get into that rate zone. Yeah. In addition to more accuracy on not over applying, you're also getting more accuracy on the rate control side of it as well. So, yep, there's a lot of value for engaged spread control. Yeah. 